Hey guys, how are you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and in today's video, we're going to compare the brand new VTOL aircraft that are coming out soon with the Armor 3 Apex expansion. And what I mean by this is the V44X Blackfish for the NATO faction and the Y32 Xi'an for the CSAT faction. Like I said, both of these aircraft are VTOL designs, which means that they can take off like a helicopter and then fly like a plane. And that means that these aircraft will be nothing like anything we've seen in Vanilla Armor 3 before. So the question is, which one is going to be the best? Before we start though, I should point out that if you're watching this video after the release of Apex, just bear in mind that some things might have changed. And that's because, well, the footage you can see in this video is from the Apex preview release, which I can tell you isn't 100% complete yet. Things like sounds and some of the animations will probably change, and there's also quite a few bugs that still need to be worked out. But with that being said, I have tried to keep this video pretty general, so Hopefully at the very least my info should still be correct. But anyway, to kick off, the first thing you're going to notice about the Blackfish and the Xi'an is the size difference. And as you can see, the Blackfish is a lot bigger, which means that it can carry a lot more cargo at the expense of handling. The other thing you'll notice is that unlike the Blackfish, the Xi'an is jet powered, which means it's a lot faster. And not only is it a lot faster, it's also got a much better rate of climb, and in fact it's so powerful it can even climb vertically. With that being said though, even though the Blackfish is a bit sluggish, when you compare it to say a transport heli, it's really no contest. For example, the biggest transport heli in the game, the Huron, is only about half as fast and it doesn't climb anywhere near as well. Not only is it faster than a heli though, the Blackfish can also carry up to 32 passengers, which is twice as many as the Huron or the Mohawk. So bearing that in mind, as you can see, even if it's not as fast as a jet, it's still definitely the most effective way to move troops around. Now on the other hand, even though the Xi'an is a lot smaller, it's actually a surprisingly decent transport as well. And that's because not including its crew, it can carry two full squads, which is a respectable total of up to 16 passengers. It also comes in a vehicle transport variant that can load up smaller vehicles, which can then be paradropped over the AO. And the best thing about this feature is that the vehicles that you load onto the Xi'an can actually be loaded with passengers as well. So in a sense, even this variant can still carry a full squad. The Blackfish also has its own vehicle transport variant, except that obviously because of its size, it can load much bigger vehicles. In fact, it can hold anything up to and including the size of a Marshall or a combination of a few smaller vehicles, if you'd prefer that instead. One thing that is pretty interesting that I found though was that neither of the VTOLs are able to sling load yet. So at least for the moment, I guess the helis still have that advantage because without this option, I can't see how the VTOLs are gonna be able to drop supplies. But finally, so far I think you can see by now that both of these aircraft are gonna be great support vehicles, but what about in a CAS role? Well, the good news is that they do both pack some serious firepower, but as you'll see as far as weaponry goes, they couldn't be more different. For example, the Xi'an has a much more conventional design with forward-facing rockets, scalpel missiles, and a pod-mounted cannon. But on the other hand, as you can see, the Blackfish is laid out like a gunship with three cannons of all different sizes mounted on the left-hand side. So what does that mean? Well, basically it means that the Xi'an is much more like a cross between an attack jet and a transport heli. And that means, as you can see from this clip, you can pretty much provide your own air support and eliminate enemy vehicles on the ground before insertion. On the other hand though, the armed Blackfish is actually its own variant, and although it does carry a lot of ammo, this variant can't carry any cargo. So that basically means like traditional transport helis or gunships in any of the Blackfish variants, you're still going to have to work in with other aircraft. Now, bearing all of this in mind, to finish up, getting back to the original question, which one of these aircraft is the better VTOL? And in a nutshell, well, I'd have to say that the Blackfish is better suited to supporting large-scale missions, whereas the Xi'an is much better suited for smaller tactical strikes. And the problem with that is that even though each aircraft is clearly better at specific things, that means it's impossible to say that one is actually better than the other. But in saying that, I will say that I think they're hands down better than most of the helis in-game, except for, like I said, when it comes to sling loading. 
So what does that mean for us in game? Well, sadly, to put it bluntly, it probably means that we won't be seeing a lot of them on multiplayer servers. Because generally speaking, for balancing reasons, you don't really see many attack helis or large transports as it is, and these guys are probably even more overpowered. Even if that is the case though, I still think they're pretty awesome and I still think they're going to be the outstanding feature of Apex. Because previously you had to add this sort of thing in with mods and it's just great to see that Bohemia is listening to the community and adding in the things that we want to see to the vanilla game. But anyway guys, that just about wraps up this quick comparison. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.